Okay, so sorry about that guys. Unknowingly, I uh, will be doing a second video. I had a little bit of a mishap with my uh, recording stuff, but anyway. Okay, so we're going to get back into it. So um, we're gonna do the exercise like I talked about. Uh, so we have CAD red, or sorry, pyro, or sorry, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, Windsor blue, or um, phthalo blue. Uh, we have black and white as well. So what I want you to do is I explain the drawing part. Um, the first thing I want you to do is if you're just going to paint along with me, I want you to do basically about, oh, well, you're gonna paint an red and each one of these shapes I want you to paint a very basic apple shape so it's basically like a circle with a little bit more of a uh, thinner bottom so it's a circle with kind of like thinned out at the bottom and a little bit more flat up at the top and the bottom okay so I have the angle brush here so I'm just gonna do very I just take the angle brush and I just use the shape of it to kind of follow along a curve just like that. And I'll just flatten out the bottom and then just fill it in. And I want you to do the same thing in each one of these shapes. So don't get too over worried about it not being perfect. I want you to move on to each one of these boxes. So there's one, here's the other one. So it's a very squishy kind of circle. So apples are very forgiving. So if you don't have it, a, uh, if you're like, it's not perfectly circular, good. You don't want it perfectly circular. Okay, and then just fill it in. Okay, this is gonna be kind of literally washing paint dry to start off with. So we're gonna do, let's do three more of those. We'll get them in. Just clean this one edge right there. Okay. Just making sure I don't have any lumps of paint. You don't want any lumps of paint. Okay, good. Next one. I'm gonna notice I keep going back to the water and that is because this paint is really thick and it got a little dried out. So I'm just trying to thin it out with some paint just to Kind of loosen it. Call that loosening it up when it's really thick and you want it a little bit thinner. Loosen the paint up with some water. Okay. Kind of move this over this way a little bit. Just got a blob of paint there. Okay, so remember we're doing everything in stages. So if we followed kind of what we talked about in last lesson about paint, we need to apply a base coat and then we need to adjust our coloring. Then we need to add highlights and shadows. So we're doing this in about six stages for this particular painting. So I just kind of want you to kind of understand I mean, like there could be more or fewer layers than six, just depending on what you're painting, of course. Okay, last line in here. And we're gonna do each one of these the same way. So we're gonna leave one, and we're gonna move over here, we'll do each one of those. Then we'll move over here, we'll do each one of the remaining three, and then so on and so forth, so you can see the stages. Okay, we're gonna add in our last basic shape. That's way too much paint on my brush. 
If uh, your paintbrush gets gummy like that, wash it off and get rid of the extra paint on your paper towel or your rag. You don't want that extra paint on there. Okay, so we got our basic apple shapes. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do with the angle brush is we need to start working on our shadow colors. Uh, so if we were to take a look, I'll just put this example right here so you guys can see now that that paint is, I think, dry. Let me just open up this way so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so if this is our basic apple shape, we always usually have a highlight or this is always usually the lightest area roughly about in this section, just because the light, if our, we already show that we have a little bit of this white highlight here. So that tells us that our light is coming from this way. So we know our shadow is going to go this way, but usually if the light's coming this way, any old thing along this line is going to be the lightest. We'll get into light and shadows and, and another topic. We're just going to touch on it very briefly. So the only thing we need to know is that our apple is going to be darkest on this side and towards the bottom, darkest in the middle at this core. Everything else is going to be roughly about red, but this part here, we need to make this the lightest and this area the lightest. So we're going to kind of focus on our shadows to start off with. So Normally a lot of people think you add black to darken a color, but we're not going to do that. You can either do blue or you can do brown. I'm going to add a little bit of this Windsor blue in. We're going to purple up this color just ever so slightly. Just want to purple it up. Okay. Um, I do like to do a little bit of blending out a little bit. If you are a painterly styled painter, so that means you like the brush strokes, you're just going to adapt it to the way you like it. Okay. So we are going to just add a little bit more red. I just wanted a little shift. You want it like a reddier purple. You can see how that's a little bit of a reddier purple. That's better for me. Okay. So I'm going to leave this one alone. We're going to start on this side. Add in your basic shading. There's going to be a little bit of a darker area up in here. Maybe some shadows back in this way, just so you can kind of see it starting to build. Okay. Add a little bit of, see, so I'll just use a wet brush while that brush is still wet. And I'm just going to add some other shading in there. So you can see I'm starting to darken up the bottom. And this bar back area in here will be darker. I just am shifting colors so that way I can start to see the shape. Okay. So now we did that. We got to do this on the same as everyone else. So we got to do a little bit of dark down here. A little bit of this, the stem part up in here. Let's get a little bit more red in there. Okay. Okay, same thing. Make sure you're following the shape of the apple. So everything from here is going to go out and around. Anything in the middle can go up and down. You want to make sure your brush strokes follow that curve. Okay, again, just adding in those shadows. Oh, I forgot to do the top part. Oh, I darkened that up quite a bit. All right, well, that'll be the next step. Okay, so we'll go back over here. So we're going to darken things up a little bit. We'll go back to our little stem in here. 
add a little darker area in here. Okay. We're gonna mix in a little bit more red, just make it ever so darker. Okay, so on this side, add a bit more dark. And back in here, just darken this up a bit. And if it gets a little too dark like it did over here, just pick up some, just go to some red paint and just blend it out. Okay, go back to that dark color. Okay, you can start to already see it's giving it some shape. Even though it's very loose, they call this a loose style painting. You can see I'm even holding it, I'm kind of holding my brush a little bit farther back. Remember how we talked about holding your brush? I'm now holding it just slightly back from the ferrule instead of it being right up tight. I want it to be really loose. So I'm holding my brush a little bit farther back. Make sure you're holding it like a pencil. Okay, so we got kind of our shaping going on here. So we're gonna go back to um, some, just a little bit of a lighter red. So we're just gonna come back in here, lighting up some of these. Just doing a little adjustment here. Just gonna darken this side up a little bit just because I can. I'm allowed. So just darken it up by a little bit more blue in here. And because it's still wet, I can still kind of shade it. So I can see here. Okay, I want to darken now that I've got kind of this kind of thing happening here. Oh, let's just turn this out back a little bit. Okay, you can start to see now that I've got this light area. I'm gonna try and keep this a little bit more on this side. And you do wanna kinda of darken up this little middle in here too. You wanna to start making sure you get all that in there. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit darker down here, a little bit darker down here, darker in here. And then since I just put that wet paint in, if you wanna get a little bit more of a blended, just pick up some red paint and just really Blend it out while it is still wet. It has to be wet, okay? Clean your brush out again. This is a lot of just fussiness at this point. When you're getting into the highlight in detail, it's all the fussiness of it. Okay. Want this darker a little bit down here. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit. We don't put a lot of white as a highlight in. And I just wanna show you, I'm gonna throw a little bit of yellow into some of this red. I wanna like orange it up. I don't, white is not really a highlight. Yellow, you wanna brighten things, you don't wanna dull things. White usually dulls things. So we're just gonna add a little bit of white just so that way we can see 
some of that orange coming through. We want to add a highlight. A bit more. Okay, and then you can add maybe one over here. And what I like to do is I just like to blend it out just ever so lightly, just to get rid of any of those hard areas. Okay, and then we're gonna do a very quick little stem here, if I have any black paint. Nope. Okay. Okay, so just get a little bit more black paint here. I'm gonna do a stem, so just do a little bit of a line out and then towards the middle. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it so that way we can add a highlight. So you can see I'm just kind of swiping. I'm just gonna add a little light right on this side. Lighten that up a bit more, just so you can see it a bit more. So same process. As the apple, we're just doing it with the stem and I just got a little bit too much white right here. And then just mostly white. I'm just gonna add a little stem top right up here. It's gonna be mostly white there. And then I just do little adjustments just to make it look like it's connected. There we go. Okay, so now you can see we have a pretty basic apple. We went from super blocked into, now it has some form and I just realized I didn't give it a shadow. Shame, shame. So let's just kind of darken up some of this area up under here. And then just give them a scrubby little shadow for right now. Okay, so that is our basic practice for today. So you can see like I have all my lines super scratchy to start off with and then I just keep shifting the tone. So I'll work from my main color. So mostly you kind of look at an object and you go, what is the most color that's on there? Find that color and then just shift and adjust everything accordingly. Uh, so I hope you guys give it a try. If you didn't get it the first time around, don't forget that if you were doing this in this book, the beautiful thing about doing this is if you didn't like it the first time, you have all this opportunity to do it again. This is your book. I want you to enjoy doing the process and it will also show you your uh, progress. Ah, so that was a good lesson for today. This is the last lesson in the inductor, introductory painting or into acrylics. Next lesson that we will be getting into is a, we are just going to do a very fun and basic painting because we've done a lot of work. So on Monday, we'll be doing just a fun painting just to get the gunk out. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Stay tuned. Join the Facebook group, Maggie Milo's Virtual Art Club. And I'll see you guys next time.